there is a large number of girls dropping out from school because there is parental neglect uh, to girl child, one, girl child education. Those are the conditions that pupils in the IC community must overcome in their quest for education. As such, many are forced to skip or even abandon school altogether to hunt wild animals and or till people's gardens for a pittance. The station at one of the only two government-aided schools tells us that his school has registered high dropout rates. Whenever there's drought, there's no food. So in this area, people are registered. They're too legged. Others them are just at, the, uh, at Kenya refugee camp, uh, Kakuma, while uh, as the uh, citizens of, uh, of Uganda. So whenever they see that they hear that there is food distribution at the camp, you see all children going away to receive food. That's why I stopped in Senior too. Even, even now I'm still struggling for going to school. Community schools have been set up to address the education challenge. Simon Peter Ochen is a head teacher in this community primary school that so far has only P1 and P2. And to aptly capture the dire state of affairs here, Ochen is a senior three dropout, a scenario that best represents the each one teach one adage. We, who were being, who, who came back from school as school dropouts, we are the ones again giving poor knowledge to the community people. This volunteer teacher says they have been marginalized for long, largely because the e-community did not have a voice in key decision-making bodies locally here and nationally. For example, a chalk for writing, we go and borrow from the neighboring schools like Kalapata. When they refuse, we go up to the district. They give us only 20, 25 pieces of chalk, whereby uh, when those ones get finished, we use the charcoal. But his presence at the school is not guaranteed. It depends on many factors. The teachers in the two schools here are barely paid. Ochen does not even qualify to teach, so he does not expect a salary. And because of my garden work also, since I'm single, I have to go and cultivate also. Because tomorrow when others are showing emails, it could be too shameful for me to go and beg from others. Children want to study, but no teachers. The teachers which they, they, these people they, have, they brought to here, they are mulevi, drunkard, drunkards. He sometimes gets small handouts in cash and kind from parents who appreciate his work. <laughs> we then head to Kamion Primary School, the biggest and farthest of all the schools. At the time of our visit, the pupils are on holiday. The toilets caved in many months ago and there's no plan as yet to fix them or construct new ones. The mainly pupils is the one existing which is constant and still have an opportunity of sinking well down. Another promise that the First Lady Janet Museveni made in 2012 as Minister for Karamoja then is beginning to be implemented. So that's why you can see these trucks, the foundation being made and these blocks being laid here. So soon I think the accumulation sector for the girls will be solved. There's no secondary school here. Therefore whoever completes primary must go elsewhere, and the nearest school is about 30 kilometers away in another constituency. Only two people have acquired a degree in the history of this community. One has since died, while the other, Hilary Lokwang, was recently elected as a first member of parliament for Ik County. This classroom was formerly a church. Churchgoers would come here on Saturday and Sunday, and pupils would come and study here on Monday to Friday. And this is the same environment they will be coming to on 6 June when they start their second term. No desks, no seats. And in fact, there's one additional item that has been placed here, a log, where they can sit and attend class. Certainly not a very comfortable place for any child. Shirandhochere, NTV. Ik County, Kabong District.